We should we should make a video on this. A little small video on how to replace this. What is it? It's the oil diaphragm. We're, 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 we're making two videos today. All right, hold up. Listen, I'm just gonna say this now. My car has been howling. And I thought it was a belt for the longest time. It howls at idle when you press the gas. It like doesn't do anything, but when you're deselling or anything like that, you'll hear a howl. Longest time I thought it was a belt. Eric thought it was an idler pulley, but it ended up being, let me see this thing. This is the new one. It's called an oil diaphragm. It looks literally like a little condom. This is the old one. Just so. Cracked. And literally like sand all inside. All you have to do is you literally take off. Hey, hold on, hold on. Huh? What kind of car is it? Oh, it's a Volvo S40. 2.4. It's in line 2.4. I believe there's other Volvos that... What year? Uh, 2004. Mid-year 2004. Um, there's a couple Volvo models that have this same exact setup. Not really sure what models those are. I would suggest looking up. But all you're going to do is... Eh, shut this guy in. Hold on. It's going to end up looking like this at the start. It's a bolt here. Ten and minutes. A 10 mil and then a bolt here as well. Two 10 mils. This guy just pops right off and then there is a little plastic piece seated in here. You're just going to kind of finagle left. it out. Pops right in right there. there. So pull it to the left and then pull it out. Your oil filters right here. If you look just a little bit farther back, there's going to be like a clear cap on this thing. But this is exactly where your oil diaphragm is going to uh, is going to be. Um, I used just a flathead and you just pop the cap off just around, it'll come off. I highly suggest doing this when your car is cold because you will get burnt by these guys. Um, after that, pop off the cap. The cap will have, will look like this. Where's the spring There's at? There's gonna be a spring in there too as well. It sh it'll come off looking like that. I can't see it. I'm oh, sorry. It'll come off looking like that basically. Yeah. Spring just kind of sits in there. There's not really anything else. And that's about it. So now we're gonna try to replace it. We are gonna replace it. But, so I mean, this guy looks a little bit smaller than this. I don't know if it's because of how much heat that this thing got and it just expanded too much yeah, or whatever it may be. But this is basically how, you're, how you stop your howling in your Volvo. Um, I believe. How much was it? This was literally $20. I had a two day ship it because if you keep driving like with the howling, like it was, um, I believe they said that like your cam seals. your cam seals and a couple other things go on it. Um, but if you pop the dipstick, you're fine. If you pop the dipstick, yeah, or either the dipstick or the oil cap, yeah. highly suggest just pop the dipstick. Um, it, the howling will go away. It's a short term fix, but I really do recommend still buying this and not just driving without your dipstick. You know. Yeah, that's how your stuff. diagnosis problem is. If you're having that problem with the howling, open your oil cap. And when you try to pull it off, you're gonna feel some pressure, like sucking it back in. While the car's on. While the car's yeah. on. Yeah. Now how it'll it'll be it'll you feel like a suction. Yeah. And that's how you diagnose it. As soon as the cap is off, literally we, yeah. vacuum. we had the yeah, we had the car on. As soon as we popped the the cap, howling went right away. So we were like, oh. That's so now we're reinstalling it, right? Yeah. It's kind of a pain. It is a pain. We will definitely let you know the best way to do it. Yeah. Uh, having not a hot car would probably be the best way, but. It would. Uh, this car pretty hot. <laughs> it's got yeah. the wheels on it. No, he has wheels for it. You see it, baby? Because even, even the daily's got to be decent, right? If you don't have a fun daily, what you doing? S4 daily. And now, so that's what it'll look like when you're done. This guy right in there. It's not easy. Not easy. Like I said, highly suggest doing it with the uh, car off for some time. Uh, right guy. Yeah. Uh, the Would it be doing it? Yep. Is that right now? That's the belt. Oh, that's the belt. That's my actual surface. Video coming soon on that. No. <laughs> no, it would be how like as soon as I would start it, it would just go like that. It's good now. Stop doing it. Nope. That's good enough. That's how to do your oil diaphragm seal, basically. Right. Like your, oil, your oil diaphragm, sometimes they call it like online uh, oil membrane or something like that, but it's the oil diaphragm.